If you're looking to start your own podcast, but you're not really sure how to really start it and what are the things that you should be doing right now, then you have clicked at the right video today because today I'll be sharing with you all top five things you should definitely know about podcasting and why podcasting is so good for you and why you should start it straight away. If you're interested to find out the five things, then please keep watching this video till the end. The first reminder that I want to give you all is making sure that it is okay that your first few episodes or the first 10 episodes even are going to be really Really low quality not the best standard that you're looking for and you might not really know what to speak about in the first few episodes of your podcast so do not make yourself really, really feel guilty about the fact that your first few episodes are not the perfect and are not really good quality and stuff but other than that let's now move on to why podcast is so useful for you and why you should be starting it right so as I was making bullet points for this video I have gathered three reasons why a podcast has definitely changed my life first one is because it gives me the clarity of thoughts or what I exactly want to say whenever I want to make a prove a point or whenever I'm discussing anything with someone in a podcast then I know exactly what I want to say and the more I do this the more I have clarity of thoughts and I know exactly what to say. Number two is making sure that you beat fear of public speaking especially someone who is a very socially anxious person my, like myself and I'm a very shy person in real life and I don't really like speaking with a lot of strangers at one at one go. I think podcast has really helped me build my beat my public spe speaking fear confidence and now I'm much more confident confident in talking on the camera for example and also speaking out in public on the internet and also online and everything in between. Number three is making sure that it is basically a really good way to develop good communication skills also with someone else and this can really help you with your communication skills especially if you're going through a career that you might have to speak with a lot of people and yeah those will be the three reasons why I started really podcast and how it has changed my life completely. And all these five things I will be sharing with you all in this video are all based on my own two personal podcasts that I have developed with my sister alongside with me. And one of them is religious and the other one is actually not religious. And the other one is more on the girly side of things. And if you want to check out that particular podcast, then I'll link in the description box below. But other than that, let's now move on to the five things that you should definitely know before starting a podcast. Tip number one is making sure that you're standing out by talking about in your podcast some things that are very controversial, uncommon, and that are not really discussed by a group of people in general. I think there's a really good way for you to start a podcast because in that way you're putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and always remember that your opinions are not facts. So if anyone gets offended by whatever you say in your podcast, then you should be able to handle it with grace and take every criticism as a constructive criticism, even if it doesn't really benefit you in a way. So making sure that you're really bold in your podcast and you express whatever you feel without really offending anyone of course we're not trying to tell you that you should swear at a particular group if you're talking about a particular group of people or anything like that or a particular religious group or anything like that we're just saying that whenever you actually writing or you know talking in the podcast you know you know exactly what to say and you're expressing yourself without any fear of shame or guiltiness or anything like that and it is okay if you receive any kind of hate in general in your first few episodes or even if one of your episodes actually goes viral and that starts getting a lot of hate it does not really matter and do not and definitely do not be disheartened if you actually get a lot of hate and everything because that is a part of the process and you should definitely stand out from the crowd and make your podcast as different as possible in a way by talking about controversial, uncommon and also common things too. Tip number two is making sure that you're consistent on a weekly basis and upload at least one episode every single week. This is so important if you want your podcast to reach as many people as possible, especially if you don't have any Instagram page for it or a Twitter account or even a YouTube channel for it as well. But if you're starting from scratch and everything and you do not really know how to really grow your podcast and reach as many people as possible, I would highly, highly recommend for your podcast to be short but consistent every single week. And it is okay to miss here and there once a week or anything like that you know if you out of the four weeks in a month if you miss one week that's fine but if you do this keep frequently then you will lose a lot of listeners so you want to make sure that you're consistent on every single week basis and you're making sure that your podcasts are between let's say 20 to 40 minutes and no longer than that because then it becomes really boring and people don't really want to listen to them so make sure that you're consistent on a weekly basis 
Tip number three is making sure that you have the mindset that starting a podcast is easier than you actually think. And the only thing that I and my sister use every time we're doing our podcast on a weekly basis is using our own phone and using it as a microphone. Um, we use our phone, uh, I think Apple iPhone 11 basically, and we just use the voice memos of that particular phone and we just use it. But we make sure that we're not putting our voice memos or the voice notes, whatever, too close to our mouth because then it becomes really problematic. And we have actually had one episode in our podcast where our voice was very unclear because the, the voice notes or the phone was too close to our mouth but make sure that you're downloading the app known as anchor which is very free and very easy to use and that's how we started our podcast and that was a really easy way and also we didn't need any equipment in general we just use our phone and we just upload the episodes whenever we feel like it when, when, not whenever we feel like it but whenever it is scheduled to do and that's pretty much it and starting a podcast is much much easier than you actually think Tip number four is knowing that it is okay if you're not really sure what your podcast should be about and what genre you want to fall into. Because whenever we started our first ever podcast, I and my sister were really confused what to actually talk about and what should be our podcast named after and everything like that. But after several tries and after uploading, let's say, 20 to 30 episodes, then we realized that we don't really fall into this particular genre and we decided to change it, but not too much, but change it a little bit so that it fits into their category and the, and the target audience know exactly what we're talking about in that podcast and but make sure that whenever you make any kind of changes in the podcast you may actually make an episode on it and talk about why you actually changed it and what's the reason behind it and everything so that the audience while your listeners know exactly what changes have happened and they're not really getting out of the blue all these changes in between so you want to make sure that it is okay if you do not know what genre you want to fall into and what kind of podcast episodes you want to talk about what topics and everything but just make sure that whenever you're making any changes you make an episode on it and let the listeners know Tip number five is making sure that bring someone in your podcast episodes or do your podcast with someone in your family or your friendship group or anyone in between. But even if you want to start your podcast by yourself, that's also okay. But I feel like that when you have someone with you as a co-host as well in the podcast, it makes it more engaging because then we get to share our own opinions and our differences. And we also have like a good, healthy discussion in a way. In that way, the listeners want to keep listening to us and that increases the listening time as well. And that, of course, makes it reachable to other people who might not be our current listeners as well so you want to make sure that even if you start a podcast it is okay if you start it by yourself and you start speaking on your own but it is always better to have someone with you where you can actually have a weekly episode with and you can discuss all kinds of topics depending on the genre that you're doing in your podcast so you want to make sure that you are bringing someone with you and do not feel pressurized as well to bring guests straight away because that can actually put you off especially when you don't find the right guests and they don't have time for you to actually do any kind of discussion in your podcast so you want to make sure that you start first off with someone who you actually know and then you can bring on guests and also do not be afraid to start by yourself this brings me to the end of today's video i hope you really enjoyed it. I found this video really helpful on how to really start a successful podcast and now you know what are the five things you should definitely know based on my one year experience on the podcast industry you can say and what are the things that i've actually learned and what are the things in a way that i wish i knew and of course if you're interested in any any kind of videos that i upload on a weekly basis then please do subscribe to this youtube channel because i upload all sorts of videos on a weekly basis and i'm sure you don't want to miss them out but other than that if you have any other videos suggestions then please comment down below i will definitely check them out but other than that i will see you in my next week's video